Uno de cada diez niños nace con una enfermedad cardíaca en los países en desarrollo. La necesidad de atención médica de alta calidad y gratuita es inmediata y crucial. Para cubrir esta necesidad, se establece en noviembre de 2012 en Naya Raipur, el Hospital Satya Sai San Giovanni. En noviembre de 2016, se estableció el Centro Internacional de Atención e Investigación Sri Satya Sai San Giovanni para la atención de infantes con cardiopatías. En un lapso de tiempo de cinco años, se han atendido más de 20.000 niños con enfermedades cardíacas y se han realizado más de 3.700 cirugías entre ambos hospitales. El señor Srinivas está aquí con nosotros hoy y por más de 40 años ha sido un instrumento para el establecimiento de operación de los hospitales Sri Satya Sai en Bangalore y Puttaparthi. Él es el presidente del Fideicomiso para la Salud y la Educación y la cabeza de los hospitales Sri Satya Sai San Giovanni. Se tiene planeado el establecimiento de otro hospital pediátrico en Mumbai. Con ustedes, Sri Nivas. Swami. Distinguished and beloved sisters and brothers here in Colombia, gathered in this brilliant institution, Conrad. Boren University. It is most appropriate that all of us have gathered in the presence of this great institution. This institution established in 1981 has as its goal and objective the discovery and the pursuit and dissemination of culture and scientific knowledge. It is a coincidence of sorts that a similar institution began in India, started by Bhagwan around that time. The objective of culture, its discovery and pursuit, is something that every human being engages in even whether we go to a university or not. Culture as was taught to us begins with the discovery of the truth. The truth is changeless it is timeless, it is beyond geography and time and space, and it is eternal. The truth states that all of creation is goodness, that all of us sitting here and all outside in Bogota have as their innate nature goodness. With that innate goodness, the Indian scripture teaches us that everything in this universe is beautiful. Beauty is a facet 
and the feature of creation. If you look at anything in life, deep within their sheets or their layers, is essentially beauty. It is no miracle for us to learn in a university that a human body is itself a miracle of beauty right from the very first cell that creates us to what we become as we grow up and to what we really are from deep within we, we are all embodiments of truth of goodness and beauty the pursuit of science and scientific knowledge is the pursuit of every human endeavor. It is true that all the good that we have endowed with now have largely been contributed through science. The hows and whys of this great universe the how and the why of the universe is answered through the is answered through the question of science. So to every inquiring student or every inquiring person that goes into any portal of a university, this pursuit invariably leads us to so many technological advancements and growth that makes our life comfortable, convenient. But what distinguishes an institution is how do we put culture and how do we put the pursuit of science to the common good of everybody? It is there that the great truth that Isaac spoke about and the founding philosophy of life given by Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba that we need to embed and incorporate love all, serve all into all pursuit. When we try to incorporate that, we realize that the definition of culture is perfection in action. Any act we done in pursuit of perfection truly becomes culture. Football is an extremely popular sport in Colombia. The art of playing football perfectly is also the best form of culture. To understand this truth and this goodness and make it a reality in daily life is truly culture. So when we put love all and serve all into the pursuit of culture and science, you are working for the good of all and the good of society. Working for the good of all, living for the good of all, 
is the prime purpose of this evening's congregation. He spoke of a gift of love. I will leave, leave with you a gift of love which brought about a million gifts of life that we gave. In India and in many parts of Asia and Africa, a large number of children are born with heart disease. Mercifully, the Western world does not have congenital heart disease as a major problem for children. You will all be sad to learn just in India alone more children die of heart disease than are born healthy in Colombia. That is the sad reflection of today. And when you use science and embed culture and provide care to those parents totally free of cost with love and beauty you suddenly give back to parents their priceless gift of life. So as we sit here this evening, so many children are being given their gift of life. To every young set of parents who cannot see their child die, through that statement of love all, serve all, they get a priceless gift of life. So how do we perpetuate love and service is something we would learn this evening. And I think there is no better place that this should happen than in this August Hall with you wonderful people. My greetings to you once again.